What's in a name? For Amari, the last name President, both a badge of honor and a hefty burden of the responsibility of his own civic duty. A big fan of the politics. I mean, if you wanted to debate him, you had to come with the facts. You had to come. You had to come with it. President's wisdom, well beyond his 16 years. And on the football field, his energy was infectious. He's one of those people, like, it didn't matter the type of day it was, it didn't matter how hot it was, how cold it was. He was always out there, he had a smile on his face. An avid volunteer in Joe Biden's presidential campaign, he inspired South Carolinians to exercise their right to vote, despite being too young to do so himself. He would take on any task, anything you put before him. If you asked him to do something, he would do it. His mission, now being carried out by his loved ones, one vote at a time. Me registering to vote, I feel like it's something for him. Me and Amari were, uh, weren't always the same on our political views, but there's one thing about him is that he didn't care who you were, he didn't care about what your political views are, he always just, he loved you. And while Amari's chance to change the world may have been cut short, the lasting legacy of the young president won't soon be forgotten. A graveside service will be held at the Hillcrest Cemetery in Somerville tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock a.m. In Somerville, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.